Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. As always, I am your host, Fearless Floyd. We're going to have a co-host on here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. And uh, I don't really know where this video is going to go uh, to give you like a direction. Um, let's just say we're going to ad address some issues. I'm going to get Jesse on here in a minute and I'll get him to... Uh, to try to express everything for you. Uh, exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification, leave a comment below, read the description, share this video. I've gotten everybody. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, it looks like this video will probably go up for this video. W4 process. I got some nail. Might want to might want to check it out. See what I got. You might. Well, I don't know where Jerry's at. He was like chomping at the bit. I want a meeting. I want a meeting. Get him back. So I'll pause for here and hopefully when I come back, I will have Jesse Wayne Henley's round hit. <laughs> All right, kids, and we'll be right back with Jesse Wayne Henley like in any second because I just had to call him to check him. So with that, oh, with Michael. A little discombobulated. What it, Bob? There he is. Yay. And there he is, folks. Live from an undisclosed. Text. All right. There's the slacker right here. The slacker has showed up. Of Houston, Texas, Jesse Wayne Henley. The slacker is, he is in the house. <laughs> the poster boy. <laughs> yeah. Poster boy from the Flo Fearless Floyd channel. <laughs> yeah, I'll work 80s to not have to work 40 for somebody else. Right, I hear that. My apologies, man. I, you said, are you ready? And I thought you were going to call me on three-way. I was like, okay, I'm waiting. What's going on? My bad. You're kicking it. Okay, you want me to call this uh, this fool? Absolutely. I'm ready to talk to this man. I need some information. Inquiring minds want to know. I'm pretty sure everybody else on the Fearless Floyd channel would love to know also. First hand knowledge is good. Did you get all of his documents from um, John. I forget, the, I forget the guy's name. Uh, he originally gave them to me when I met John. John invited me to another channel, and we had about 10 people on there. And we talked for about two hours. And like at the end of the conversation, he busted out with uh, William's paperwork. And I was like, Where did that come from? <laughs> so for the yeah, so for the next two weeks, I was just obsessed with this paperwork. I was like, okay, man, I'm going to find tooth comb this. I got to figure this out because, you know, this is the only thing I've ever seen like this. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's other people who have uh, done something similar, done their own, their own declaration and whatnot, but I'd never seen any paperwork like that. I thought it was pretty intriguing. Did you hear me? What'd you say? Tyler has it. Oh, Tyler has something like that? He has the exact documents, absolutely. Hmm. Well, we know Tyler, uh, he doesn't proofread anything when he uh, copies and pastes, so. <laughs> oh, he wouldn't have done it. Emma would have done that. She did all the time. Oh, yeah. Emma. Yeah. Well, you happened. saw his name change decree, right? On the third time he got denied, he uh, declared himself a man at the beginning, and at the very end, he declared himself a woman. No, I did not see that. 
Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. I was reading through it. I was like, man, why did they deny him three times? Oh, and I read it. Okay. And I started laughing. I was like, well, there it is right there. He can't make up his mind what gender he wants to be. <laughs> He's got that double-mindedness going on. Poor guy. Okay, well, let me call him up. See how this, how this, uh, how it flows. Please check the number and dial again. Or dial 611 oh. for customer assistance. Message TT201. Well, there you go. 715505. So I don't think this court is going to return my uh, return service sign for, even though I sent it that way. I don't think they're going to return it. I've checked the mail twice in the last two days. Check the number and dial again. Or dial Did you see that they uh going to charge Alex Jones one billion dollars? Yeah. Can you hear that? Yep. Barely. Does he have a telegram handle? Mm -hmm. I don't know about telegram. I wasn't on telegram at the time. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Hmm. Just hanging around, man. Just waiting on to see what was going on. So is the number not working? Today. Oh, I didn't do shit today. Yeah, of anything. Yeah, I'm trying to relax and trying to get a game plan together and think about what I was going to do. Talk to D today for about 30 minutes. Right. Yeah, she was telling me that she got her legacy number uh, by going down to. So I'm under, I was thinking about maybe tomorrow going up there and uh, there's one here in Granbury. Going up there and asking some questions and seeing what happens. Yeah. See if I can get, see if I can get my legacy filing number. Yeah, that'd be nice. <clears throat> She was telling me that there, there's a holdup on her getting her uh, or her new birth certificate, you know, with the application for from the state of Texas to amend the birth certificate and whatnot. Right. She called today and that they told her that the holdup was because she didn't put any race on there. So they don't know how to deal with that. So she basically explained to me that uh, she told the lady that it was her religion or her religious beliefs. And that the race had nothing to do with her and that she was, uh, that was the, basically a government construct and that she had nationality. So she said that the lady told her she was going to have to speak to her supervisor and find out what to do about that. But if we can get, a, if we can get a legacy file number, I don't think it matters. 
Yeah, I know. It's just so many things. I don't know. You know, it's getting to the point where I don't know how to determine what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done anymore. Cause there's just so many different things, you know, it's, starting to, <laughs> it's really starting to irritate me because I just want one definitive way to go about doing this so that I can get it done. Oh, and then you stop and you look you around. You haven't, figured, you haven't figured it out yet, man. If all the people of all these channels, I would think you would be the one that would figure it out first. What is going on here? I've been trying, but most of it's dead end. And you know what? I'll tell you what. Since I got you on here, we're we're gonna. <clears throat> all right, kids, we're we're gonna hang a U turn, hang a U E, <laughs> and we're gonna go in a different direction. All right. So uh, yeah, I think you'll find this amusing, uh, Mr. Henley. I guess. Oh. Uh, I wasn't Please don't up. call me Mr. Henley. That's what I told the judge today. I said, don't call me Mr. Henley. Mr. Henley. He kept trying to call me Mr. Henley. I was like, man, you're just, you know, no honor within you whatsoever. No. What did you expect from him? Huh? <laughs> I expect nothing less from him. You know, they acted honorably. That would be amazing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Where did this go? Oh, that sucks. What are you looking for? Uh, I had a tab open and I can't seem to find it now. So, Take a left turn. Where did I take a left turn? I wonder if he's out of jail yet. Ooh. Whatever his name is. Whatever his name. Forget his name. Who we were, we were talking about earlier. He said he copied Mr. Pittman's or William's paperwork. Oh, Tyler? Yeah. I guess I could look it up. Uh, I think he's ability. I think he's in Tarrant County. I'll just take it with my parents. Thank you. 
My neighbor would hurry up and call. So did you you did a video today on the paperwork you got back from IRS? No, not yet. I said I was more hungrier. That's what I decided to go do. Go get something to eat. Right. I want to go back to that taco place that we went to. All right, Alina's. Yep. Then I want to go eat some croubelle at Ruggles. You ever eaten the Mr. Ruggles' wife's? She makes all the desserts. Man, she makes fabulous desserts. I have not. Ruggles, huh? Yep. I've never been to the one off, I guess it's off Westheimer. I don't remember where yeah, it's I at. Think but... it's original. I want to say original for some reason. I used to work at uh for the inaugural season of uh I guess it was called Enron Field at the time. It's called Minute Maid Stadium now. But uh Ruggles took over the restaurant right there at Center Field. And uh, it was like a fine dining slash sports. Uh -huh. It's kind of weird. And uh but man, she would make the best desserts. Oh, they were just fabulous. Take a couple shots of espressos and eat some creme brulee. Well, he'd be in heaven and <laughs> be zinging all night long. All right. Damn it. I'm find this because uh, I remember it was a bitch finding it the first time. I should have tried to record that conversation with the judge, but he was uh he heard a little beeping noise when I first got on the phone. He's like, Is this conversation being recorded? He repeated it like three times and I was kind of laughing about it. I was like, No, this conversation's not being recorded, even though I should be recording it right now. This take me to the page. That's my opinion. God damn it. Crap. Man, why can't I just pop it right back up? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? I'm looking for something to do a video on. Fucker. I can't find it. How about just the smokes? You know, on your desk. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Some pizza on the oven. And uh bought some Dr. Peppers in the fridge. About two hours ago. 
You might want to roll up the windows to the car too. He left them down. I don't know. You don't want no critters get in there and whatever else might get in the car. No, it was hotter yeah. after they smelled it. The, the shit. The Ben Gay or whatever. <laughs> well, that's not good. You remember what the name I what what I said the name of that place was that I needed to go to do the birth certificate? Department yeah, I remember the name. Yeah. So D said that uh, she got her legacy filing number by going to the Department of Health and requesting a birth certificate with the legacy number on. So tomorrow I'm gonna with call the legacy number. Just let's just go ask for one. That's what she. That's what she told me. She said yeah. she went in there and. On her birth certificate, it says that she was born in the country of Eugasia. So she went in there. To, yeah, it was a mistake on her birth certificate. So she went in there saying that she wanted to have that corrected, and she wanted to get a legacy filing number. And they said they, they couldn't correct that, but they could give her the legacy filing number. So she has a birth certificate with a legacy filing number. Okay. Oh. So tomorrow, I'm going to the Department of Health, and I'm going, well, I'm going to call them first. See if it's gonna if I'm gonna have to set up an appointment or if I can just walk in. And then I'm gonna go start asking some questions. Is it really that easy? No, well, it's obviously gonna be that easy, but maybe not that Well, I found that nothing is easy in this nonsense. Looks really yep. I don't know how much one man can sleep. I wasn't feeling good. I had to work and sleep. Two hours sleep, two days, no no food. Pull me the fuck out. Yep, that'll do it to you. Was you stenciling or was you had the little machine where you do the little yellow line or what? I was having to do it all by hand. Mm. So lay out, paste the, the lines and shit. It's not hard. It wasn't really hard work. It's just what happens when you're a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I guess the first step to recover is admitting you are lazy. <laughs> shit. I hear you. I ain't done nothing since fucking COVID hardly. I mean, that shit. I hate that. I hate to get up and go to work. I was work construction work for a reason. So when I'm 60 years old, I feel fine. Man, but I can go through that shit. Yeah, work I could do a couple years ago. I, I do it today, and I'm first 10 minutes, I'm out of energy. I'm like, wow, holy smokes, I'm out of shape. I haven't, I haven't been playing any basketball. I haven't been running and keeping in shape. I've just been being lazy. But I can't go and play that way anymore because I hurt for a week. You know, so it's like I'm going to be restricted to just lifting weights and riding a bike because I can't do all that pounding on my back anymore. It just it kills me. can't play on those concrete courts. No, oh, I know. it. They just... As soon as I, my knees and my back will feel fine, and the minute I step one foot on the court, my body goes, what are you doing? I'm like, what do you mean what I'm doing? You know what we're fixing to do. It's like, yeah, we're fixing to be hurting for two weeks is what I'm fixing to happen. You're not going to be able to walk. Yeah, be like, you, want, you want me to beat you up or what? Part of being stubborn, not accepting being an old man, I refuse. Not an old man, but I'm not a smart man either. Clearly, smoking cigarettes. Yeah, we need to quit drinking dirty water and bad air and eating GMO food. I mean, I mean, it's like when I run from here over there, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
I don't know. Phone's gonna die. Fifteen percent, Floyd. Better get this what? video rolling. Oh. Well, that sucks. We couldn't get hold of Mister or get hold of William. I was really looking forward to talking to him. Yeah, I know yeah, you Mr. were chomping at the bit. Oh, I've been waiting. I have a million questions for this guy. You do. We'll break it down and get yeah. to the heart of him. We got time for me. That's an over exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Really, I want to. The two main questions that I want to ask him is how did he get that specific birth certificate? Okay. And what is the process for the stamps and the postmaster putting his seal on? Everything else is pretty self explanatory. And who did he file it with? Did he file it with the, like, who did he go and speak to? And did he do it in the county that he was born in? Who did he speak to? You still have uh, Emma's phone number? No. Fuck. That would be nice if people learned how to itemize shit. Well, they keep it concealed so that they can make money off of it. You know, it's all about making money. God a man and wins out again. Yep, every time. God gives to man, and then God and man makes God, and then God man up. And he turns it into something bastardized. Blasphemy. Uh, all right. What are you working on? We're going to do a show on exclusive equity. <laughs> no, I'm planning on it. Should we? Can we? <laughs> no, because I don't know Jack about it. You're going to have to get Yoda on for that one. He doesn't Most like to be recorded. I don't think he wants to say something wrong and then people come back and tell him that he doesn't know what he's talking about. So. Yeah. Obviously, he does because he's always posting results from what he's doing. So, proof is in the pudding. Uh -huh. Are you ready? About as ready as I can be. No, come on. We're going to go visit one of your old buddies, your old pals. Let's start. I pretty much made all my old friends mad at me. Oh, you did? Why? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because they wanted to be slaves, and I don't want them to be slaves. Oh, it's the whole slave thing. Yeah. You know, that always gets in the way, doesn't it? And then, then I'm a conspiracy theorist. You know how it goes. Yeah, I do. Yeah, here's our here's your old buddy, Mr. Crickets. Mr. Hauser. Mr. Crickets, who has 55, well, you might as well say 56,000 subscribers. 56,000 people follow this guy. Wow. Okay. Now, today, or actually it was yesterday, but it's kind of a significant day. And you see the latest from this house was back in June, which is streamed four months ago. Go to his channel. About, and there it is, October 21st, 2021, kids. That's how fast wildfire will spread and how quickly it will burn out. 2.3 million views, up almost one year, 56,000 subscribers. I don't know how many videos he has.
And out of all of this, not one proven success, not one. All right. And in this day in uh, Mr. Cricket's history, go on to the next one. State of Tennessee versus Christopher Allen Houseman. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember Chris going off? Talking about how he's going to get justice because he raised a jurisdictional question he didn't do. <clears throat> and this was April 11th. I believe it was. No, I'm sorry. April 6th. And as of April 11th, nothing else has been filed into this particular case, which is the Supreme Court case for Christopher Allen Hauser. So I said that they were going to take their time and they were going to write a scathing opinion on this issue. Scathing. They were going to. They're going to uh, make Chris Houser the poster boy of UCC1 fraudulent violence. Absolutely. All these guys. And they're going to make, they're going to make, put an exclamation point on it. So it has been uh, six months, a little over six months since that hearing on the 6th of April, which Chris Houser said we'd have a quick, quick resolution. Six months later, we have it. Six months later, Chris Hauser has left the building. What do you think about that, Jesse Wayne Henley? I guess you're not paying attention, not hearing me, so. Oh, what you doing over there? Are you trying to scare us? We can't hear you. You ain't got no microphone. You're mumbling. I'm on, I'm on mute. That's why. There we go. Uh, that explains everything you see. All right. Well, okay. Well, well. <laughs> Excuse me. What are your thoughts and feelings on uh, that information there, Jesse? Uh, I think he's a patsy. An agent probably took a deal or something. Get out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So getting a whole bunch of people from the uh, so-called patriot community, make them look foolish, and then get them caught up in something that they have really no idea. Which I mean, I guess we kind of all got caught up in the 1099 process, right? It's too good to be true. Ooh, We're yeah. all and John called me the other day and he was telling me there was a new. 1099 process and I was like man I'm not interested I'm just not interested he's like well I got results I'm like yeah so did Chris Hauser <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was like man I'm not a guinea pig anymore man why don't you try it and then when you show me some results I'll, I'll be more than happy to follow lock and step there you go, man. Man. I'm done with all that do it twice do it twice that's all we want man proof of concept and do it twice, proof of success. Once you do that, you can show you've done it twice. You're kicking it. Yeah, then we got something we can listen to. Right, absolutely. Everything, yeah, everything else is just theory. Pontificating a theory. Okay, well, that's not all the news that I have for today. Uh, I'm debating whether or not we should do another video for just this other subject. And I think we will. All right. Uh, I'm going to send you another link. So log back on. You hear All me? All right. Yep, or I heard you. All right. Give me a couple seconds to close out this video. All right. We'll do. All right. There we go. And Jesse Wayne Henley has left.
the building, I believe. No, nope, he's still here. Trying to close it out, but it's not allowed. I can't tell. I can't tell. Bottom right hand corner. How do you close this shit? Leave. There it is. Bottom right hand corner. There you go. That's how you close it, Jesse. Thumbs up. Job well done. All right, kids. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, it kind of didn't go where I thought it was originally intended to go, but it went somewhere. And I uh, just want to give you all a little update on Mr. Crickets. Uh, if you're out there, Mr. Crickets, and you're watching, which I'm sure you are because I'm still here and you're not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I still have an open spot. Got an open mic for you, bro. Chris Hauser, come on the show, man. Let's do an interview. Find out what's really going on in the world. How would you like that? Yes, that would that would be ooh, something. Huh? All right. Well, I'm going to jump into the next video. Like, subscribe, share, notification bell. Uh, leave a comment below. Share the video. The Fearless Floyd Show. Dot com. Telegram. YouTube. Rumble. Bitch you. PayPal. Cash App. Venmo. The Fearless Floyd Show. It's just that simple. Thanks, kids. Oh, class coming up with Anne LaFleur on the 22nd of October. And I want to make sure you guys uh, go check that out. So um, I, got, I got a lot to do here. There we go. All right. Uh, that's it. All right, kids. Here, let me get over here. Quick screen share. All right, yeah, class coming up right here. This is the homepage, fearlessfloatshow.com. Once you land on here, it tells you right here, first thing, go to the bottom for classes and consultations enrollment. All right, and you just take that little slider and go, -da 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 -da. there you go. And there it is right there. There's the class. It starts October 22nd, 23rd, and the following weekend on the 29th and the 30th from 5 p.m., to 7 p.m. Uh, dates and hours are subject to change due to my schedule because uh, I've got to go to work to pay for the goods and services that people will fire me to operate in this thing they call the free world. And so here's some private consultations. There's the old B class. There it is. It's just at the bottom. So, oh, hey, who's this video on? Man, get your Chris Hauser t-shirts, your 1099A of Benz, baby. Yeah, I'm headed to the showroom now. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Hauser, for the enjoyment. Yeah, you know. thumbs up, bro. Appreciate you. And with that, kids, uh, Thank you for watching the video. And I'm fixing to jump on to the other video about the W4 process. So if you didn't watch that one, go watch that one. Next. Thanks, kids. Have a nice day.